Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? And welcome back to VR Essentials. My name is Lazarus K, and we talk about the practical uses of VR. Oof, that's right. All right, Connect is on. The future is now. VR is developing. Extremely, very exciting. Let's put the clock down. Let's try and do this under five minutes if we can. Here's a summary of what happened in part one yesterday. So the first big news is the fact that hand tracking is going to be available on the Oculus Quest starting next year, which is wow, really incredible. We're going to be able to use our hands to manipulate objects, to press on things. I mean, that is really huge. We don't have to use our controllers anymore and it's going to feel more natural. Of course, haptics are going to have to come out. So that means gloves will probably follow, you know, sometime after that. But it's going to be very cool for training people uh, in companies or also operating machinery from you know the other end of the world the second really cool announcement is oculus link which basically means that you'll be able to use your oculus quest with your pc why is that big i mean why what's the point of using our pc isn't the whole point to be wireless well it opens more doors it means that we can use more content from the PC, which is not at the moment available on the wireless device. So this is really, really awesome. Does it mean whether we can use Steam VR because Steam has so much more content? That remains to be seen, or whether we're only able to use the apps provided by the Oculus, which run on the Oculus Rift and Rift S at the moment. Number three, so the other thing that they're coming up with is Pass Through Plus, which basically enables you to see the outside world with a click of a button, which is actually really useful. Because at the moment, the only way to see the outside world, when you put your quest on for the very first time, you have to create a guardian. So uh, when you, the guardian is there as a wall, as a virtual wall, so you don't bump into something. But sometimes we do want to be able to see what's going on outside. Maybe there's a noise or there's something, and we don't necessarily want to remove the headset. So Pass Through Plus will enable you to actually, uh, with a click of a button, see the outside world. So that's pretty cool. The other big announcement is Facebook Horizon, which is basically a social media app for Facebook users. So you can connect with your other friends on Facebook, in Facebook Horizon on the VR, and play games with them, create worlds with them, and do a lot of fun things. So, however, there is already competition with VR Chat, which is extremely popular. Uh, Altspace is also another platform that we trust a lot. There's a very good community over there. Specializes more in the virtual meetings. And of course, Rec Room, which is all about team building and playing games within a social environment with your friends as well. So is Facebook Horizon going to really offer something new for people to use? Also, we don't know. We don't really trust Facebook with our details and you know, our privacy and all these things. So, it's going to be remain to be seen, but of course, it's good that it's there. Will it become the next oasis of virtual reality, like Ready Player One, a video game where you can go and teach and, and learn and go to school in VR or have a job in VR or all these kind of different things. So, remains to be seen, but very interesting announcement. Another cool development in the world of VR at Connect 6 is something more geared towards developers and content creators with the launch of Media Studio, which basically is a platform that's going to act as a distribution channel where content creators who specialize in VR can publish it at a click of a button. One of the potentially really game changer of the technology that Oculus is working, Facebook and Oculus are working with is another team that they purchased uh, called Control Labs. And what they're doing is they're developing technology where you can risk, you can wear something on your arm and just with the power of thought, you can then start to move objects in virtual reality. Now, this is really huge, especially for people who, you know, may, may, maybe can't use their hands, or they're paralyzed or they're, you know, they, they, they're missing a limb or something, or, you know, they, they, I mean, this is really massive. And also, of course, for normal people too, uh, so that we can use our, our body parts to do other things whilst we're thinking and we can actually move things in virtual reality space. One other cool thing that they're working on is reconstruction technology, which basically enables to map out the inside of your home, uh, either using your Oculus Quest or perhaps another device, and then it gets remodeled in 3D. So, woof, that's pretty amazing without having to actually 
uh, be a coder or an animator or, or a modeler of any kind. It just does it automatically for you. And then you can go into other people's homes in the virtual world. So that's gonna open up a lot of games, especially for uh, real estate. You know, you're gonna be able to buy and sell space that's already made, uh, just like in the real world, but in the virtual world. And of course, it's gonna be very good for training. So for example, you can model uh, a burning tower or a hospital or a workplace even, and then your staff from your company could go there in the virtual uh, and you know completely train within the environment even before the actual building being built or if they are living far away or if they simply cannot access uh, the facilities for whatever reason or to create spaces to give that additional uh, augmented training that they may not have had uh, if they weren't able to build a space physically because it would just take too long or perhaps just be too costly. So whew, reconstructing technology, really cool. Facial recognition with emotions. So you're actually able to go in VR and the camera of the Oculus Quest would be able to scan your face. So when you're inside virtual reality, if you look like you're laughing, smiling, you're sad, you're angry, whatever, it will pick up those emotions and it will transfer them into the virtual world with a 3D rendered map of your entire face. So your real self will be seamless in the virtual self you look exactly the same. Another big news is Beat Saber VR 360 with Panic at the Disco volume. Beat Saber, of course, is one of the world's most popular fitness apps. I really believe that in a few years from now, there will be Beat Saber classes where people will join. There will be 30 headsets with a main teacher and it's going to be in 360. You're going to be doing the whole shebang and really getting your cardio out and pumping your heart in 360 so that's really really awesome really looking forward to that okay so this was an overview of connect six part one part uh, uh, of course there are other things that they have announced but i will leave it to the gaming vr channels on youtube to talk about those as we try to focus more on the practical side of things do leave a comment below let me know if this video helped you if you found it interesting i will try tomorrow to post a part two part two uh, and leave a comment below as to what you'd like me to talk about or share what kind of information you want to know other than gaming or if you want me to change how I made this video I hope you did like it if not let me know just put some comments below all right until next time take it easy DJ Q Music